hurt so many nights Cried so many hours Trying to make it right Just didn't have the power You ignored all my tears In hopes they disappear Try to let it show But I guess You just don't want to know
we out doing it on the board and popping fried crackers. Thank you, Jesus. We in here popping fried crackers for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Make a joy for Lord to the Lord all right. today. Amen. Amen. So we praise God and thank God for your presence on today. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to ask this time that uh, Sister Sheila Cherry would come or uh, come in and uh, make our visitors welcome. Amen.
understand God. Give a peace that surpasses all understanding God. Oh Lord, to your name, Father. There is no one like you, God. You are everything that we have ever need, God. And we'll continue to trust and praise you, God. We'll lean not to our own.
Amen. And the same day when the evening was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over to the other side. And when they had sent away the mother to, they took him as he was in the ship, and there also with him the other little ships. And there arose a great storm mm. of winds, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. Mm. And when he was in the hither part of the ship, asleep on a door, and they awoke him, and said unto him, Master, perish that that <coughs> perish that, that we might perish. And he arose and rebuked the winds and said into the sea, Peace be still. Mm -hmm. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Mm -hmm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? Mm -hmm. How is it that ye are ye have no faith? Mm -hmm. And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is mm -hmm. this? Yeah. That even the winds and the sea obey him. I'll start the reading there. My gracious Father, Father, we just come to you this morning. Father God, we just thank you for being able to slumber all night long. But Father, you came and you woke us up in our own rightful ways this morning, Father God. Lord, we thank you for the birth in our bodies. Lord, we thank you for the limbs, Lord God. But Lord, most of all, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who came down to give his life over 2,000 years ago upon Calvary Cross, Father God. Lord, we thank you for sharing his blood. But on this morning, Father God, you woke us, Father God. This is not just a day, but Father God, this is a day that you have made. Let us thank you, Father God. Lord, we thank you for every opportunity that's to go tell somebody about the goodness of you. But on this morning, Father God, this day was preordained, Father God, to be able to this fellowship with our family and friends, Father God. Oh, we thank you this morning. In your son, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Stand. Yeah, yeah. See, we quick to throw a towel 
all in when things get too hard. But the thing we should remember, reach and get that child and wipe your forehead because the battle gets begun because our big brother went to the cross for the victory. See, when we're in our storm, we should be able to understand what are we going to put on. Are we going to get suit up in a rain suit or are we going to put on the full arm of God? To be quick to say that I can't do this, it's too hard because this is out for me. But we have to re realize what our big brother done for us. Yeah. See, could you give your only son to go up on the cross? Can you deal with what's about to go on? Or are you just going to sit back and say, I've been through the storm too long. Yeah. See, some of us don't understand why we have to go through trials and tribulations because yeah. it's not for us all to just to have an easy day. Yeah. See, one thing we have to realize, this storm yeah. in the scripture today was a yeah. strong storm. Wow. See, Jesus and his disciples was on the ship. Yeah. All right. When all things was going by, a nice, easy day, yeah. Yeah. sailing yeah. across the sea, then all of a sudden, this strong storm coming in. My Lord. The thing we have to remember here in this story is Jesus had to go. Yeah, yeah. To the other side. That's right. That's right. He had purpose to go to the other side. That's like he had purpose to go to Samaria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, when he had an encounter with the woman at the well. See, it's something about an encounter with Jesus. Yeah. See, once you have that encounter, see, you can't be the same. See, you might come to him dirty, but when you leave, you're going to be clean. See, your walk going to be changed. See, you might walk to him limping, but when you leave, you're going to have a whole different walk. See, your talk is going to be different. Yo, yo, your, your talk is going to be different. See, you can't be still because it's something about that encounter. You able to tell somebody about where you was, but now, you in a total different spot. Oh, you, See, you can't be in that same old mess you used to be. Yeah. Now you in something different. Come See, on, you're trying come to on. figure out what's really going on. But it's like a fire that came up on the inside. You just can't be still. Come See, on. It's something about the name come Jesus. Come See, when he's coming in, you can't be the same no come more. On. Your walk is tall. Your, yeah. your, your thing you do, you don't do anymore. Yeah. See, you quick to say, yeah. what am I doing? But the things we got to remember in our storm. See, when God sent us somewhere, see, a storm going to rise. But the thing you have to remember, what are you going to do in your storm? See, we might be saying, I'm catching so much hell on my job. I'm catching so much hell in my home. Even my wife don't have time to talk to me no more because I'm going through my storm. But the thing we have to realize who are we trusting? My Lord. Who are we being led by? Are we being led by God? Yeah. See, but this storm, it was so fierce to work. It was beating up on the ship. See, one thing about a ship, see, fishermen know how to operate they ship in a storm. Yeah, yeah. They know how to go around the heart of a storm. Yes, sir. But the thing about this storm, how are you going to operate if you've never been on a ship? My How are you going to operate a boat if you've never been on a boat? Yeah. See, we as believers in Christ, when we go through our storm, we quick to say, Lord, I can't do this by myself. Yeah. It's too hard on me. Yeah, yeah. The, the waves are beating up on me. And these uh, my clothes are being ripped and torn so bad to where I can't stand. Yeah. But the thing we got to realize. Tell it, tell it. How are we going to stand? Mm. See, this storm, it was so fierce. The ship was filling with water. Yeah. See, one thing about a ship, when it fills with water, if you don't there. know how to operate it, yeah. it'll sink. Can it? Yeah. See, that's what our lives today. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us saying, I'm sinking. Mm. I have so much. Circumstances I'm going through, I'm sinking. Mm -hmm. See, some of us have so much understanding that where we have an issue of hate, yeah. we have an issue of jealousy, well, we have an issue of yeah. non belief, yeah. we have an issue of going Come through on. a pandemic, we yeah. have an issue not want to believe what's yeah, not going to go on. Come on man. But as long as you trust in yeah. Jesus, I yeah. don't need nobody else. Yeah. See, the thing we have to realize here this morning is. Am I 
seeking or of my own solid ground. See, sometimes when we are going through, we are seeking so deep in a certain situation to where we are looking for a life raft. We are looking for a jacket. We are looking for a beacon light because we are off in the sea. So we are looking for something to where we can try to get back on solid ground. But the thing we got to realize who are we trusting? Who are there with us in this storm? See, we can call on our brothers and sisters. That's right. But if they reach down and grab us, we're going to pull them in the same sinking hole that we are in. Well, well, See, when we get to sinking too much, yeah. we don't know how to call on it because we pay. Well, then we go to fear. So well, fear be so much to where it overcomes our faith. Yeah, but we have to understand, yeah, yeah, we got to go yeah, from fear yeah, to faith. Well, because when God takes us somewhere, that no man can't stop what God's about to do. He yeah, yeah, yeah. can't say that the doors are the, the doors are closed, but God said, it, "Open it because it, I open yeah. that door for you." Yeah. No man can close yeah, what no I'm man. about to do. No but man. the thing we gotta realize when we sinking out in our storm, uh -huh. how are we gonna walk in? Uh -huh. We gonna be able to call Jesus and well, say, "I need you to time an hour, Father God." Uh -huh. The thing that looks so dim, but Lord God, yeah. I thank you for opening the door. Yeah. Thank you for turning on the light. All right. Say, it's getting so hard. Yeah, yeah. This water's getting deep and deep. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know which way to turn. Mm -hmm. See, I'm reaching for him. Mm -hmm. But I know Jesus is my refuge. Yeah. See, my time of need. He's there in the time that I need. Mm -hmm. See, he'll reach and pull me out of my That's mess right. that That's I'm right. in. See, sometimes we don't understand. But his disciples yeah. says in the verse in the Bible 38. Jesus was in the stern of sleep. Mm -hmm. He was resting. Yeah. See, many of us in the church are now are resting. Yeah. Uh, what we are called sleeping. Uh, sleeping. See, some of us say, how can I be sleeping when my eyes are open? Uh, See, this is not a natural sleep. This is a spiritual sleep. Okay. See, when God has sent us to do certain things or called us out, Come on, man. we quit the same. Preach, man. You know, uh, this, uh, this word is getting good, but I'm getting sleepy. See, that's when you are unfocused. unfocused. That's when you careless. That's when you yeah. unconcerned I'm about concerned. the word of God. Yeah. That's when you have trying to live your life a different way. See, that's when you want to do what you, you want to do. do. Yeah. God yeah. Said, to be able to walk in this walk. Yeah. See, every walk ain't going to be a good yeah. walk. Yeah. See, every test is not going to be an easy test. Yeah. But the thing about this morning is, are you sleeping on God? Are you sleeping on God? I'm quick to say, I'm not going to sleep when God called me to do so. Yes. But it's not so easy sometimes. Come on, sometimes we don't understand why yes. am I having so much hell? Why am I going through so much situation? Well, the question is, are you, are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Are you reading your Bible? Are you studying? Yes. Are you even trying to tell yes. somebody where you used to be or where you at now? See, this morning, we have to reach and let somebody know. I'm not sleeping on the word of God. See, if God called me to do something, I'm able to go do it. Right. See, in the book of John, the ninth chapter, verse 4, we must do the works of him yeah. while it is day. Yeah. But when it's at night, yeah. no, man. no man can work. Come on. See, that's when it's dark. You can't see to work in front no. of you. Time but when it's see. day, we yeah. should be able to get up in the work. back of the dawn and go out and do work. the work. Of we need to do. What? As men, we have to take our rightful places. My Lord. Lead our family. Teach the word of yeah, God. Yeah. It's so much happening in these yeah, days. Yeah, See, yeah. we can say these are the last days, but God ain't said it's not yet. Yeah, but yeah. we still have to be able to walk and preach the word of God. My Lord. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good word, man. That's a good yeah. word. Yeah. But we have to realize. What God is trying to tell us. Yeah. We have to understand. We can't be like this water that's, that came down where it had rain. Mm -hmm. And the roads had flooded. Then you got a pothole. See that water stay in that pothole. That's and right. It's stagnant. Yeah. It's yeah. not flowing. See yeah. it's not producing fruit. But when God has called you to go out and do something. Well, you are help building up the kingdom of God. Yeah. See you being fruitful. So when you are planting seeds. You are doing a. Blessing because oh, your seed has went to where well, now you are being 
producing where you can have a harvest. harvest. See, some people want to plant two or three seeds, but when you have a harvest, you're able to feed the mother to And we quick to say, yeah. what are we doing in this season? But we quick to fall asleep when God is calling us to go out and teach. See, a lot of us want to be in a mega church. A lot of us want to be in a big building, Mom. but the word that we be taught is not in the street because we can bring those words in. So on, we can go out and be in our nice clothes. But the thing we have to realize this morning, I've been in my storm too long. Wow. But when you are going through it, it all. See, one thing the disciples were so fearful of, they had the answer on the ship. See, they, they were so fearful about what's about to happen. They thought they weren't going to make it to the other side. See, we quit to say, I want to change in my life. I want to go from this side to this side. See, when you get to the other side, you know there's a change going around. Mm -hmm. See, something you want to cry out to the Lord and say, change me, oh Lord. Yeah. Let my walk be different. Let yeah. my speak be through yeah. be different. Clean my heart, Lord. Let me be able to worship you better than what I'm doing. Wow. See, it's one thing about change. That's when you have to surrender and reach for the true thing, him, King Jesus. The thing we have to remember this morning, I've been in my storm too long. It don't mean that I got to give up because my storm is still there. Yeah, I've been in my storm too long. That don't mean I got to quit what I'm doing. That don't mean I got to quit praying. See, I got to pray daily and consistently because my storm is going through and going through. But the thing I'm realizing in this storm I'm still at his own. Yeah. I'm not going to give up because I know he got something for me because he didn't bring me this for to give up. See, it might look like I'm at my wit's end, but God says, keep trusting. Keep believing what I'm about to do. See, you are almost there to the wreck. You finna get out of your storm, but sometimes we get almost to the end of our storm and we'll turn around and go all the way back. All the heads you have and say, Lord, why is me? But we're right there at the end, but we'll turn around and we say, Well, the Lord ain't heard my cry. I've been crying and praying to him, and I'm still going through this. Why? God said, I had you at the end, but you turn around. You do what I told you to do. See, you don't went back from surrender to sleep. See, we don't understand. Why did I go back? Got when you lost faith. Mm -hmm. See, that's when that storm had attacked you and got you out your element. Uh, See, sometimes yeah. we don't understand why yeah. do we fail yeah. to do the thing what God had called us to do. Yeah. We quit the turn when things get too tough. Well, yeah. See, that's when we like to throw in our towel and say, yeah. I'm tapping out, I can't go no further. Right. But God is saying, I didn't make you for a tap yeah. out, I make you for a believer. I make yeah. you where you can be more yeah. than a conqueror if you yeah. trust yeah. what I'm doing. See, in a time of trouble, who are you going to call on? See, when your storm gets so fierce, you still have to understand that he's still the head. He's still going to get you through. See, God can say, I'm going to take you through a storm, man. That's where you're going to stay. So the thing you have to understand in your storm, who are you going to take with you? See, a lot of things people want to reach for is an umbrella, a rain jacket, or a tobacco. Okay, okay. That's a true protection. See, a true protection is for and look up. Not him, you're not able to go through your sick. See, when you got sick in your body, see, who do you call on? See, when you're in the courthouse, who do you call on? See, when your body just don't feel good, who do you call on? Who do you call on? Who do you call on? See, when you go through your situation, who do you call on? See, I call on King Jesus because I don't need nobody else. See, when I, when I got diagnosis back in March when they said I had prostate cancer. See, I didn't get in no pity party. I didn't feel like I was. it was over, but I told God, whatever you have for me, let it be for me. If it's time for me to go, Father God, I'm ready. But the thing he said was, I call you to go preach my word, so don't go in the towel. Walk this thing out because this is only a test. See, when you go to your storm, you got to trust what God's going to do in your life. See, people say it, you know, you might not feel well, but uh, take this medicine right here. Took it two days, and I said, throw my wife. I'm not taking this no more. I'm trusting what he's going to do. Well, See, this man, this person had me work. I was tired. I was weak. Didn't feel good. So I said, I'm going to let the real king, the real person, 
do my mercy for me. Yeah. So, I can tell you as this, I feel new. I feel good. I have a good heart. I have a good body. Because this word called cancer, it ain't going to hold me down. So when I say, I've been through my storm, I ain't been through it too long because I know God's going to make a way to get me to the other side. So when I cross over to the other side, that's going to be a praise of all praises because I'm praising him now and I'm a praise to the end. So when I say I have surrender, I surrender to what God has called me to do. I'm not going to let this devil tell me what I can't do. So when you're going through your storm, you should be able to tell that devil, devil get behind me. I rebuke you because what my big brother told was when be still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wind cease. The waves cease. What kind of man can tell the wind to stop spinning in a bay? See, that's my big brother. See, when he went to the cross, see, he got us where we can help God. He can tell us to help fearful, help faithful, and be able to understand what we're about to go through. See, we quick to say, the doctor said, uh, I'm sick in my body. I got to give up. I can't go no further. Uh -huh. That ain't what he said. He said, it's not going to be easy. Well, this race is not for the swift, but for the strong. Yes. It's for the one who can endure. Yeah. 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 We got to get out of saying, I'm sick in my body. I just give up. Uh -huh. Shake that devil off and say, get behind me. Yeah. Behind because me. I know I got greater who looks high. And he's going to look down yeah. because I know yeah. what he's doing for me. Yeah. See, the thing we got to realize this morning, I've been in my storm too long. Mm -hmm. Are you just going to stay in that storm or are you going to be able to be like a fisherman? Mm -hmm. How to operate your ship? Well, what are you being your ship, your body? Mm -hmm. How are you going to go into yeah. the storm? Are you going to go in the heart of the storm or are you going to work your way around? Mm -hmm. See, we quick to say what we can't do. But when it's time for a football, basketball game, right. we're the first one step. Right. When it's time to go to church, uh. we always last. Uh. We come in and the service is almost over because we got so many excuses. Uh -huh. Oh, the light called me, the train called me, my car went green. Oh, I had an issue with my husband. Yeah. Yeah. My wife just didn't, was getting on my nerves, so I just didn't want to come. My kids in the house just didn't want to get up this morning. See, that's when you understand. Yeah. You under attack. Mm -hmm. What is your storm doing? It's a nice sunny day. But the question is, are you going to let that storm dictate to you what you're going to do in your home? Uh -huh. Or are you going to walk this thing down? Uh -huh. Or are you going to call and say, all right, y'all, I need my prayer warriors to get together. I need y'all to come on to my house. We ain't going to pray over the phone. I need you in my house. See, this is where the storm is at. See, that's one thing we have to work on as believers. When we say, oh, Lord, I know you're going through, but I'm praying. I'm going to pray with you. No, don't say them. Pray right then. See, don't only put your hands together and pray. So when you... Going through a storm, so you don't know what that person is dealing with. See, sometimes a person is going through so much to where they at the end of want to give up. What do you mean by giving up? A lot of people go through so much to where they are at wit's end and they ready to quit. They ready to quit and commit suicide. It's time for a change. Change them, Lord. We are quick to say, I can't do it. Yes, you can. You can pray. But Lord, I'm not that good. It don't take long to say, Lord, forgive me. Yeah. Lord, I pray for this person who's yeah. going through. Yeah. But we don't understand how good a prayer can be. Wow. It don't have to be a long prayer. Yeah. But where there's prayer, that's power. Yeah. So when you yeah. cry out to God, God is there to hear what's yeah. going on. Yeah. See, God can step in a certain situation yeah. and turn it around. See, a lot of times we don't understand when God is trying to send us out. Yeah. Why is he sending us out? Yeah. See, it's purpose in us getting sent. But we quick to say, uh, perhaps I can't go. Uh, I got something going on on the job. And no, that job don't meet you that day, but you're making excuses. <laughs> See, you think because you're going to that job, that overtime is going to carry you over. See, it's not like you believe in money over God. See, that money ain't going to last, but God's going to be there all yeah. the time. Yeah. you think that you're getting ahead, God didn't tell you to go on that job that day. But you're thinking that I'm doing this, I'm doing great. See, a lot of times we think we are doing so well until, boom, that storm hit. Yeah. But when it hits, 
we quit yes. to run to the church meeting. Lord, when Lord. things still not running right, we quit to run yes. and say, Pastor, yes. can you pray for me? Yes. The pastor say, okay, uh, it's been a long time since I've seen you. Uh, I've been so busy on the job. So we got so much experiences to where we can't come to the house of the Lord because we feel unclean because of our sins and things we've been into. But we quit to run when things don't feel good, but when they are bad, oh, we got a direct line to the church too. So we quit to sell a pastor. Well, I'm gonna be there early Sunday morning. But Grass Allen said in his son, Lord, I just need a little more time. See, we keep saying a little more time. See, a lot of times we don't get that little more time because time is running out. So we got to get it together. We got to get ready to get in this walk. We got to get ready to be able to preach the word of God because when God comes back. When he asks you, why did you not preach my word? Are you going to say, Lord, I just need a little bit more time. See, that time is going to be up. See, you have to go and get it now because time is coming. It might be the midnight hour or early in the morning when he do come back. So we have to understand. He is our protection. Our protection. He is the one to get us out of trouble. He's there always. When things look its worst, who do you think is with you? When you doubt. When you got doubt over fears, yeah. he's telling you, go back. Yeah. But we would still leave yeah. and don't understand why I'm forsaken. Uh -huh. Because you took your own path. Yeah. But yeah. God has already done made a clean yeah. slate for you to go yeah. down. Yeah. My Lord. Yeah. My Lord. quick to say, why do I got to go down a bumpy road when God don't make a clean road smooth? My Lord. But you quick to yeah. say, well, God is moving too slow. Yeah. I need to move fast. Yeah. We can't get in front of it. We have to understand through every trial, it's a test. Yes. It's something that you got to learn from that test. But if you stay going through test after test after test, yeah. something's going wrong in your story. All right. Are All you right. learning anything? Yeah. Are you understanding what you have to do to get around your storm? Yeah. He was like, I don't understand why I'm having these migraines, why am I sick in my body? Why am I going through all this? Question is, what are you trusting in? What are you believing in? What are you doing in your storm? My Lord. This morning, I've been in my storm too long. But the thing about what Jesus said, peace be still. When the winds and the sea cease, disciples had to look at each other trying to figure out how was this man able to do this? And we on this ship fearing for our lives. And we just going to the other side. The thing when God puts something in your past, Take you, man. Do, Take you have to go through it. We yeah, can't yeah. just be yeah. like Jonah trying to run around and be swallowed, yeah. swallowed by the giant fish. See, we have to understand Jonah's learned his lesson. He went on to what Jesus told him to go do it, and he was able to go there. But when you fail to do the wrong path, yeah. things will come about. Mm -hmm. How can I do this? Walk the walk where God called you to walk. Quit trying to sit down on the word of God. Quit getting your pillow fluffed up and firm to lay down. See, that's when you should come on fire when God had called you to go do something. See, it's something about when you're being used by God. See, it's a it's something better than like we can say, well, I don't got high before, I don't got drunk before, but this high don't cost you nothing. See, this is a high you can go tell somebody about the goodness of him. This is something that you can catch a fire on and go tell him how good he's been to you, yeah. where he brought you from, where you used to be, mm -hmm. you don't do no more. See, it's something about making a change. Yes, sir. Change is good, mm -hmm. but yes, you just don't want to stay in your storm. Yeah. Too long. It's a time for getting away. It's a time for praying. It's a time for fasting. Yeah. But the thing about in your storm, what are you going to say are you still going to reach for that umbrella? My Lord. Or are you going to turn yourself around and say, Lord, we got this. Let's yeah. go in this storm. Yeah, yeah. Let's go in this thing and fight this thing out. Yeah. But this morning, uh -huh. in closing, what are you going to do in your storm? Uh -huh. See, the thing about the name Jesus, it's something about it to where hearts can't stand still, yeah, yeah. the buildings can't stand still, yeah. people can't stand still. Yeah. The church will catch on fire is to hear the name Jesus. Yeah, Do we yeah. quick to say, I thank you for what he done for me. I thank you for going up on that regular cross. But the most important thing is, 
What do he say? Do he intercede for you in your wrongdoing? Is he there for when things look its worst? But we got to remember who are we serving, who we trust, and who are we believe in. If it wasn't for Jesus, we'd be in a world of trouble today. We thank him for going to the cross. We thank him for the victory. For without him, we'll be lost. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
come on, somebody touch it and say, peace be still. Come on, come on, peace be still. Come on, come on, peace be still. Come on, come on, come on. After we get through with our dance, we're going to prepare our hearts for, amen, our Lord's Supper. This is the first Sunday. Amen. Come on, they get set, sister. Offer it, amen. Yes, sister. Harris, a hand clap, a hand clap. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. These are announcements for Sunday, July 4th through Sunday, July 11th, 2021. Amen. Amen. Sunday school is at 10.15 a.m. Sunday morning worship is at 11.15 a.m. And Wednesday night Bible study is at 7 o'clock p.m. Amen. The Youth Paint Party will be on this Saturday, July 10th, in our event center, amen, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., amen. Again, the Youth Paint Party will be on this Saturday, July 10th, in our event center, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., amen. amen. There will be praise dance practice on this Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 7.30 p.m., amen. Again, there will be praise dance practice on this Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 7.30 p.m. and on Saturday at 2 p.m. after the pay party. Amen? Amen. 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 Amen? Next Sunday is our annual youth day. Amen? Please have your children and our youth present on that day. Amen? Amen. 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 Again, next Sunday is our annual youth day. Please have your children present. Amen? Amen. The women's ministry is asking for $50 from each sister for our annual day. The funds will be due by July 18th. Amen? July 18th. $20 will go towards sponsorship for each child for a visit to Ross Perot Science Center. And $30 towards the women's ministry. Again, thank you. Amen? Amen. The next speaker meeting will be on Tuesday, July 13th at 7 o'clock p.m. Again, the deacon meeting will be on Tuesday, July 13th at 7 o'clock p.m. Amen? Amen. The drama department will be having a garage sale on Saturday, July 24th at 8 a.m. Any items to donate, please see a member of the drama ministry. Amen? And the deadline for the items will be on Sunday, July 18th, 2021. Amen? Again, the deadline for items will be on Sunday, July 18, 2021. Amen? Amen. And everyone have a blessed and safe holiday, blessed and safe week. Amen? Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together one more time for the Lord. Amen. 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 Keep our hearts, Amen. Keep our hearts for our giving, for the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Amen. 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 Let us give. Amen. And watch God give back to you. Amen. 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 Those of you, amen. Thank you uh, for supporting. Listen, I was talking to a, a sister pastor, and, and uh, sometime this year, we're going to have a, a homecoming celebration. This past year, we didn't get a chance to. Uh, do our no burning service where we paid out the gym this past year. Amen. And we didn't Amen. get a chance to have a no burning service. And so we're going to have a no burning homecoming. Of everybody who, whoever been a part of First True Love, we're going to ask that come back for a service. Amen. Amen. And watch God do great things. God is so good. Yeah. And he's worthy to do So we're working on that. And also, like I said, and uh, we're not going to, other than that, we're going to continue to uh, uh, not have fellowship with other churches until uh, we make sure we feel comfortable. Amen. Yeah. 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 So what that means is, is that we're going to have to support us. Amen. Yeah. Whatever we do in the house, that, that's, we got enough preachers, we got enough pastors here, we don't need nobody else out there come in. We can do our own thing right here. But we need your support in whatever we do. Is that all right? Amen. 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 So again, to thank God for, for what he is doing. Thank you for the attitude, the, 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 the attitude of getting back together. We want to do things and go further in God's kingdom work. Amen. Father, bless this offering we have received. Thank you for those who gave. Thank you for those who have desired to give again to heaven. 
Father God, we just ask you to make a way for them and bless them with jobs they can earn and they can live in and give to your holy cause. We love you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God is so good. Listen, I'm excited. I'm excited, Sister Sheila. I'm excited about, amen, what the drummer team is doing, what the youth is doing. What amen. Is doing. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. I want to give a shout out to our kitchen crew. Amen. They did a wonderful job. Um, the last couple of times we have had something. Thank God for our men and the women department. They have looked. The women did their things. The men did their things. And we just, we just happy. I'm thinking, now, now help me, Assistant Secretary. Ain't always men and women, Mom? Amen. Man. All right. Now, I'm going to put a challenge. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put a challenge. I know women always, and I outnumber the men, the men in the church. But I'm going to put a challenge on this day. That doing. Men's, I'm a men and women day, and we're gonna have it in house. That the men is gonna give more offering than the women. Amen. Our men is gonna come up strong. Amen. Listen, listen. I'm calling it into. I'm speaking it Amen. into existence. Our men, we 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 may be through a number, but we're gonna show up big time on that day. Amen. 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 So women, look out. Y'all been running, thank you, running, thank you. Y'all ain't gonna run nothing on that day. Y'all gonna got a lot of money. You, you may be out coming and doing that day, but that day, he ain't gonna show up and show up. So we got a lot of I'm speaking it to us and say, yeah, thank you. What, what, what God gonna do on that? I think it's the first or second Sunday in August. I can't remember when they get it. The second Sunday? No, it's the fourth Sunday. Okay, all right. Whatever Sunday is, we 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 gonna we gonna do that. Yeah, if it ain't the first. I said, y'all just give us more ammunition. <laughs> Amen. Y'all just give us more time to do what we do. Listen. Amen. Again, I, I want to get our birthday lady. I'm not doing it because my it's my birthday, but all the birthdays for the month of July and August. Well, June and July, stand up. June and July, all the birthdays for June and July. Birthday to you. Amen. Come on, my shows. Amen. Let's sing happy birthday to our uh, birthday uh, recipients. Happy birthday. Be judged, but when we are judged, 
we are chastened by the Lord, that we may not be condemned with the world. Therefore, my brother, when we come together to eat tarry one for another, if any man hunger, let him eat at home. They should come together to judgment, and the rest I will set in order when I come. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this opportunity to share in your blood and in your body. Lord, thank you again. We just ask you to bless right now. If you find anything that's not like you in us, remove it right now before we eat of your body and drink the blood. We love you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As he sat at the table with his disciples, he broke the bread and he said, Take thee. This is my body, which is broken for you. Eat all of it. And after supper, he took the cup. He said, This is New Testament in my blood. Drink ye all of it. And the Bible says that after the supper, they went out to Mount Harvard and praised him and thanked him. So we thank God again for the blood, his body. I am dying on the cross for us. Amen? Amen. Amen. This time, we're going to have our last word of benediction for my speaker of the hour. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's get a lot of hands up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And for some of you, those who, who do not know, uh, about a year ago, I think it was before, before the pandemic, I went down and the fur field and, and uh, uh, Pastor Rose was, was the pastor. But what we did, we elevated uh, Brother Reverend Kenneth, and they co-pastoring together. Amen. And so it's Pastor and Kenneth and Rose Amen. Mutes, and they're working together in ministry for the, amen, for the betterment of the Lord. Amen. amen. So give my hands back for the Lord for doing the great work.
glorify your name. Yes, we do. Come on, let me see some hands. We worship him. Everybody. We worship you. We worship you. 